I was sitting down one night, flipping through YouTube, survival stuff, pretty much how to do Heimlich Maneuver and all that, and the ad popped up for LifeVac. Kind of caught my attention, so then I started looking up videos of LifeVacs and LifeVac saves, and I was becoming a new father, scary new world, had nothing, no clue about it, so I was like, you know, if something was to happen, I would hope I'd have a tool like this. So I went ahead, bought one, you know, threw it in the bottom of my cabinet. I was like, eh, well, we'll never really need that. And well, lo and behold, three years later, we needed it. After I used it, I realized how easy it was, right? So I flipped my child over. I was delivering back blows. Nothing was helping. She started going purple limp. That's when I ran and grabbed the life back and it was able to pull the vomit out of her nostrils and out of her throat. Um, so I was sitting there thinking, I was like, you know, we don't come across that very often, but when we do, the stuff, the tools that we have are very violent and could be harmful to elders or infants. So and then I sat down one night and I talked to my sergeant and I was like, hey, is this something I can bring up to go up the ladder? And he said, absolutely, try it out, do what you can. And I was like, okay. So I went through, done the whole thing, got quotes, just for the fact of if it did happen, the tools that we were provided as a first responder weren't working right, in my situation. So I thought, well, let's bring something to the table that doesn't necessarily harm somebody and actually worked for me. Officer Abel brought us this product as a life-saving measure that we could implement into our patrol cars. Um, it is less harmful on the, on the person that's choking. Uh, then what the Heimlich Maneuver is, we can compare it with our CPR and with our AED, other life-saving measures that we already instruct our officers in. Um, to date, there's 2,000, over almost 2,500 uh, lives that have been saved by using the LifeVac across the nation. Um, you know, we don't run into this often, but when you get to a choking person call, uh, a lot of times you just feel very helpless of what you can do to get this person breathing again. Uh, this gives us the opportunity, no matter their size, no matter if they're sitting, standing, laying down, uh, that we can implement this device and be able to pull uh, whatever the foreign object is out of the way so they can start breathing again. Um, I commend Officer Abel and uh, bringing this to us. He brought it up through his chain of command. Uh, we all looked at it as a supervisor group and decided this is something we want to try to, to do. We commend our officers uh, in the fact that they are keeping their eyes open for um, products, for life-saving products, for apprehension products, whatever it is that we think would benefit the community and the department. And we want to make sure that we're supporting them uh, when they do bring those to us and doing the research and finding out if it's that pro type of product that we want. We're incredibly proud of our team here at the City of Greensburg and Officer Abel for bringing that forward as a option and something that worked in his life. His story is incredibly powerful and so hopefully that resonates with the rest of our officers. The City of Greensburg is proud to support ideas that come from the front line of frontline officers through leadership, not only in public safety but all of our departments and so we're proud to have LIFAC in all of our police cars and all of our fire trucks that respond with our GFD and GPD teams.